Hey guys, so today I've got another video for you. It's actually going to be kind of remake of the video that I made back in 2019 when I launched my first game, Ailment. And I wanted to share my experience on how I do marketing and maybe I actually going to cover some of the things that I didn't do before because I didn't have enough experience. And this time I'm gonna just go step by step just telling you what I'm gonna do for my third game that I'm working on at the moment. And uh, so first of all, everybody knows that in order to make your game popular, you need to have some audience, yeah, some players to play your game. And you need to somehow build it, that you have to start building your audience very early, in the early stages of building your game. And in order to build an audience for a game, there are some things that you have, I have to do, and everybody's recommending to do it. So uh, what I did, I set up a page, web page for my games, I also did Twitter account, I also created Facebook page for my game and I also pretty often I, I, I was making tweets uh, while doing some updates uh, while working on my game, some, in some animations or maybe some images, some screenshots from my game and I just shared them in Twitter, in Facebook, in my web page, it's a very slow process so you have to be very patient. Anyway, in the end, it's gonna pay off. Uh, my YouTube channel helps me a bit to build my audience, but it doesn't help that much because most of the people who are watching these videos are actually uh, game developers. But in order to actually build audience, proper audience of players, it's better if you go to Reddit. You, uh, you have to be active there because I have heard many cases of successful games that become popular even before their launch just because the developers were uh, posting some Reddits and uh, those reddits got viral and this is how their games actually become popular uh, but the thing is like uh, most of those games are pc games and we are in mobile gaming industry i mean depends but i'm mostly in mobile game industry of course i port my games on pc other consoles but i'm focusing the most on mobile games <laughs> and guys do you know what's missing in this video yeah paid promotion because this video is sponsored by me so another uh, pretty useful thing that I would, I'm going to do with my third game and this thing I actually did with my previous game Endurance I'm going to set up on Google Play uh, the page uh, for my game before publishing it so you can do it uh, so players can actually pre-register the game is going to be visible on the Google Play um, pre-registration page and then players can actually pre-register before the game's release and on the day of release they're gonna get notifications that they can download your game and play and actually it's a pretty good thing because it's gonna build your audience uh, before the launch and on the launch date you're gonna get huge spike of downloads and in order to do that uh, I think it's called in Google Play I think it's called pre-registration or early access something like that and the only, the only thing is uh, actually you have to keep in mind that when you create a page, you have only 90 days in order to publish your game. So it has, your game has to be already more or less done if you're uh, using this feature of Google Play. So the next thing is also very important and it's called ASO. So it's App Store Optimization. And that means that when you set, well set up in your game page, you have to write uh, your description in a that way and uh, post those screenshots that actually going to allow people to find it pretty quickly while they're searching for some specific types of games. So in order to do that, I would actually, uh, because you have to write down uh, your description using some uh, keywords like, for example, if you're having 2D game, you have to, uh, s multiple times you have to insert 2D uh, word in the description of your game. And also, for example, if it's like shooter or horror, so you have to use those words as well. And this is going to help people to find your game quicker when they are going to look for specific games like horror or uh, action or any kind of genre. But in order to do it properly, because there are so many 2D games, obviously, there are so many horror games and action games. So in order to do that pro properly, I would advise you to use some of the tools uh, such as App, App Raider or maybe Sensor Tower or App Any, you'll have to figure out how to use them and it can help, it can improve uh, your organic traffic a lot. So you can get a lot of downloads. And uh, this is, I guess, uh, I would do that for sure with my third game. So another important thing that I suggest you to do is to create a website and on that website you can have a form or a button 
to subscribe for the newsletters or something like that. And when your game is going to be released, you can notify those players that your game has been released. Also, you can send them uh, emails and you can build your email list for, so for your future games as well. So you can get contacts of, of the players for your future games as well. And it's a very important thing to do because later it's going to be for your other games going to be so much easier to uh, send notifications about your new released games in the future. So another also very important thing that I use for my first and second game is actually to reach out to reporters or editors of uh, that cover mobile games. And I, uh, when I just first launched my first game, uh, Element, uh, I, ha I had to find for so many emails of those editors and reporters. And obviously not everyone is going to reply to you saying, uh, yeah, sure, we're going to cover your game in our magazine or on our web page or whatever. Maybe only 5%, I would say only 5% actually replied to me or and maybe only three or even less actually published something for free. And was and but it's already gives such a huge boost for your game, for your game discoverability. So seriously, this is a very important thing. Also, sometimes you can get some uh, if you have a budget, you actually can find some reporters that actually cover your game. Um, uh, they write paid articles. And which is also very good stuff and you can try that of course if it's in your budget and also another thing that you can do uh, I'm gonna do it for sure uh, you can reach out to those youtubers that review mobile games you can find their channel just by looking for some mobile games in the internet and um, in the YouTube uh, obviously it's, it's an internet yeah <laughs> so um, um, yeah, what I was saying that actually, yeah, you can reach out to those YouTubers and you can get their uh, their rates because normally they charge some fees for uh, in order to publish your um, video about your game. And what I've actually I've paid around between fifteen and one hundred dollars. The most expensive uh, featuring was uh, one hundred dollars. O always look for those channels that has the most views in the videos because there are some actually pretty big channels that has like over 100,000 subscribers but then their videos are watched around 1,000 times like the most recent one and those are not that quality videos and there are some youtubers that actually post in their videos too often like maybe a couple times a day and those things are not great either so look for the quality content that's what I would just suggest you and uh, another pretty cool stuff that uh, I found really, really uh, useful is that uh, on Google Play, you have these uh, pages. Uh, it's like a promo campaign from Google. So it's actually, it's called Indie Corner and uh, you can apply it for it and you can, um, you can um, kind of pitch your game to Google Play that, uh, and they might feature your game in their uh, in one of their first pages. The same, uh, so they have it for new and updated games, and they have it for indie games. I'm gonna leave the links uh, under the video so you can check it out. And also the same thing you have in App Store. So in App Store, they ha you can actually pitch them your game as well. And it's called Promote App Store. I'm going to leave the link as well in the description so you can check it out. And uh, this is very cool stuff because if you if they pick your game, it's going to be featured for maybe uh, a couple days or maybe even a week. And you're going to get so many downloads. But it has to be quality game. That's how they actually choose games. And you know what? Both of my games, Element and Endurance, were featured on App Store uh, in the new Games We Love branch uh, two weeks after release. And I think it's because I actually pitched them uh, to App Store. I'm not sure. I cannot tell you for sure, but I think because I did it before, I did I did that. And I don't know whether that worked or something else, but I don't know. Who knows? This is like. All this thing, all this game industry, it's like a like a lottery or there is so much luck involved in this stuff. Like you cannot imagine. Of course, there is a lot of hard work, but I'd say there is like 80% of uh, luck and 20% of hard work. Okay, guys, so uh, this is pretty much it for this video. And in this video, I tried to cover the organic traffic so the basically kind of free traffic that's gonna uh, free downloads that's gonna go to your game 
but uh, this is only one way to get some revenue and some more some downloads for your game because there is another way is especially basically comes from which is kind of paid traffic so this is the traffic which uh, you use in order to do that in order to have the uh, traffic you have to have some budget because you're going to use some ad campaigns such as Google ad ads or uh, Facebook ads or different kind of ads in order to get some players some downloads for your game and this is this this gets a bit complicated in order to get it um, profitable because you have to spend some money in order to get some money and sometimes you're spending more than you get and this is very uh, difficult so to balance all that kind of stuff so you can get actually the good revenue uh, it's actually pretty difficult job all right guys so have a good one and i hope that video was useful for you and you know what to do there's like subscribe button down there so you can press it down if you're new in this channel and if you are um, if you've been with me for a while, I'm, I really appreciate it and have a good one. Bye bye. So uh, another pretty cool stuff. I had already said pretty cool stuff so many times, no? I don't know what to say really. Uh, <laughs> fuck's sake. Fuck something in my eye.